Jacob, and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is the great debate, President Barack Obama. And of course, we have with us to uh, talk about the great debate, uh, Dr. Al-Hadid. Uh, Dr. Al-Hadid, uh, I think we've had uh, many opportunities to talk about what we call the great debate. Yes, sir. And I think that in a real sense, uh, our audience should be aware that uh, you really created this whole series, the, this idea of having, what, a great debate. Mm -hmm. I think you've uh, presented many great debates in, 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 in terms of what you've been doing. And mm -hmm. this is another of those great debate series that you'd like to uh, present to us today. And this is about uh, President Barack Obama. Mm -hmm. And what we want to do today is to give you an opportunity to first uh, sort of tell our audience uh, of some few statements about uh, your situation of being here now, mm -hmm. and then to get into uh, dealing with uh, the great debate, President Barack Obama from the point of race, religion, and politics. And so let's uh, see if we'll start off by having you to give us some statements in reference to your situation. Mm -hmm. Well, as you know, Dr. Haney, I was at Tennessee State University for a number of years, and uh, my last uh, uh, time there, I was the chair of the Africana Studies Department. I left the uh, university and I served uh, as a principal of an Islamic school. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just enjoying life and uh, writing books and then moving forward. Very good. Mm -hmm. And I understand that you, you, you're really, really, really moving forward now mm -hmm. and enjoying life and accept. But yeah. let's talk about uh, the uh, first part of uh, this great debate uh, on uh, President Barack Obama, and that is this issue of race. Mm -hmm. what, what, what about that? Well, let's start with uh, Du Bois' statement in Souls of Black Folks, mm -hmm. where he indicated that the problem of the 20th century would be the color line, where he was talking about the whole question of race. And he envisioned uh, a collection of the talented 10th, mm -hmm. who would basically be lawyers, doctors, preachers, and, and business persons. And these would be the race men who mm -hmm. would uh, lift up the race uh, from the standpoint of, of leadership. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, uh, you had uh, Booker T. Washington, who felt that uh, he, he had to produce a class of mm -hmm. entrepreneurs and producers, people who would come from the land mm -hmm. and produce things. Mm -hmm. So this was the initial great debate. And as you know, the forum that I created at mm -hmm. Tennessee State involved the dialectics between Martin Luther King and mm -hmm. Malcolm X mm -hmm. around the question of integration versus mm -hmm. separation. And I think when we come to uh, President Barack Obama, I see him as a sensitivist mm -hmm. of the tension between Dr. King and mm -hmm. uh, Malcolm mm -hmm. in the sense that uh, B Barack Obama went through a period in his life where he was dealing with his identity. Mm -hmm. I mean, his mother was white from Kansas, his mm -hmm. father was African from mm -hmm. Kenya, he was a Luo. And so he went through life for the first mm -hmm. or 18 or 20 years of his life mm -hmm. not really being certain about his identity. So that takes us into what Du Bois was talking about mm -hmm. in terms of the double consciousness, mm -hmm. as he also outlined, mm -hmm. you know, in the souls of black folks. So what I see uh, in uh, Barack Obama is mm -hmm. I see him as a synthesis mm -hmm. of Dr. King mm -hmm. and Malcolm X. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think that uh, his ideas are a lot closer to Dr. King because of his Christian background. Mm -hmm. And there's some characteristics that I see in President Obama. One, his, his character, mm -hmm. uh, just unimpeachable character, mm -hmm. uh, morally upright. Mm -hmm. uh, two would be his intellect. Mm -hmm. I think post uh, W.E.B. Du Bois, he's probably one of the most brilliant uh, in, uh, African Americans who graduated from Harvard mm -hmm. University. Mm -hmm. He was the first to become president of the uh, Harvard Law Review. Mm -hmm. And you, you know he also re received the Nobel Peace Prize. And of course, he was the first African American to become president of the United States. So uh, we thought that Du Bois was the greatest of the giants to come to Harvard. Okay. But I think, not that uh, Obama has eclipsed W.B. Mm -hmm. Du Bois, but I think he's come along in the 21st mm -hmm. century, and he uh, will pretty much dominate the 21st century in terms of being uh, a great intellect, the mm -hmm. same way Du Bois dominated, dominated the 20th right. century. Mm -hmm. Another thing about Obama, uh, we point out his great intellect. A third thing is his charisma. Okay. I mean, Obama is a poet. He has this ability to uh, uh, art articulate his ideas. We haven't had a great communicator since Ronald Reagan okay. on the level of, mm -hmm. of Obama. Well, Obama. I mean, mm -hmm. he's in that same league with, with, with Ronald Reagan and John F. Kennedy. Mm -hmm. So his, uh, his, his charisma, uh, then we'll look at his, his judgment mm -hmm. uh, in terms of how he is detached. Mm -hmm. 
uh, he is what I call a pragmatic idealist, mm -hmm. uh, almost on a Zen level. Mm -hmm. I, I view Obama as like a Zen master, mm -hmm. the level of discipline that he has, mm -hmm. level of detachment. Mm -hmm. He's always fully engaged, but never overreact. And mm -hmm. finally, his vision. Mm -hmm. And I see his vision as an upgrade on the dream of Dr. Martin Luther King. Very good. Mm -hmm. And of course, Dr. Uh, uh, L.D., what we're going to do, we're going to take our first commercial sure. break, and then we'll come back and we'll have you to go into that second area, and that is religion. Yes. Of course, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short uh, commercial break. The guest is Dr.